if you can just kind of walk me through this operation on the table here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like the um, Sergeant State is, you know, the ghost guns um, being made with uh, that 3D printer over there. And what this is doing is it's making, we call it the lower portion of the gun, which um, for illustration purposes, that white part of the gun up there. Um, and as you see here, it's, he was in the process of making one um, when we obviously seized the, the, uh, um, the evidence in this case. And there's just a lot of different parts that come into this kind of operation. Mm -hmm. So can you just explain how the parts can maybe come from different places and then you just put it together like a puzzle to make it work? Yeah, so you can buy kits that, again, are available online. Um, and you get those uh, parts shipped in and then you just put them together with the pieces that you make. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's not a um, hard task from what I understand. It's just some you know, tedious type stuff and knowing how to do it is what it comes down to. Do you think it was important for us to maybe see how something like this can transpire into a ghost gun potentially on, on the streets illegally? Absolutely, because I, I don't think the average citizen s sees what we see on a daily basis. So, you know, we see these guns being produced um, and being used in, in crimes, and I think it's important for the public to know that this stuff is out there, you know, and this is a small scale operation, I would say, compared to what's potentially out there. So I think it's very important.